y'all are doing well this morning. Good morning. I hope all y'all are doing well this morning. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, this morning I'm going to make a potato and hamburger and onion casserole. And I've already started over here by browning my hamburger meat and my onions with a little salt and pepper. And it's going to take a while to get that brown because you want it extremely brown. Okay? And I'll bring you back whenever I get that part done. I just wanted to show you that. Okay, I'm back. Um, as I said before, we're doing a hamburger, onion, and potato casserole. Um, and I'm going to go through the ingredients as we do it. But as always, the ingredients will be below. The precise ingredients that are right here on my counter will be below. All right, um, I have already browned my hamburger meat. This is one pound of 80-20, and I took all the oil off of it. And um, I got one large onion I diced up in there with it. And I just lightly salt and peppered this while I was browning it to give it some flavor. And then I drained all the grease I could get off of it. Off of it. Now, I want to season my hamburger meat first with all my seasonings that will be below i've got them all measured out here but they are below the reason i'm i'm trying to get it um done is because i have not been feeling well we've had a lot going on and um we've had foxes have been just terrorizing our chickens they've killed 20 something chickens and a couple of ducks there's only one duck left and we just can't figure out how to stop that and they're going to end up killing all the chickens we noticed they stopped laying um, about a month and a half ago, maybe. And so I guess they slowly, we had 80 chickens. So I guess they slowly have been taking a chicken here and there. And I, I asked Albert, were they? And he said he didn't really know. Because it's hard to count them in our chicken yard is big. But they had, because the numbers are down, way down now. But we got to work on the chicken yard. And I've had seizures. Yesterday alone, I had three seizures. And I just... I've been so tired and it felt good. That's why I've not done anything. Okay, now let's get back to the chicken, onion, and potato casserole. So as I said before, I'm about to season this with all my seasons that are going to be below. We're going to make a mixture in one, one bowl, okay? See, there's a fly in here too. I just saw him. I got a can of cream of mushroom soup. It can be any brand. It doesn't matter. They pretty much make it all the same. Okay. I want to get all that out. Okay. All right. All that's out. This can of cream of chicken soup. Same thing, any brand. I think this is a new brand that Walmart has. It's just a great value. They changed the look of the can. I think it's 60 cent. I buy a case of it here and there. Last forever. Okay. And get all that off. Okay. Let's move these out of the way. Now, this is a half a cup of a just a nacho cheese, just a nacho cheese sauce that you would dip your nacho chips in and stuff. I buy it and we love it in macaroni and cheese. We love it on any pasta, anything. Taste what is, it is salty. So that you have to be aware of. But whenever you use it a lot, you, you sort of understand it and you know what you can do and what you can't do. And I've adjusted it at the bottom for this recipe because of that. Okay. That's done and over. Now, I've got a half a cup of just whole milk. I just so happen to have milk, or I probably would have used evaporated milk, to be honest. Now, and I put black pepper, salt, um, Neuer's chicken bouillon in it, onion powder, and garlic powder, and that's the one thing I did forget to lay out. It's always one thing. Hold on. I meant to put me a little minced garlic in it. Let me 
let me do that right quick. I apologize. Need to remind remind myself to add that I'm gonna put a about a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Need to remind myself to add that to the list. Cause I sure had forgotten all about it. Okay. Now we're going to just incorporate all of this together. And you kind of want it incorporated till it's good and creamy. Okay. I did not spray my um, 9 by 11 because um, it's enough, it's not going to stick. This is the um, grease and the hamburger meat and all. Won't let it stick. Okay, I think we got that about right. I'm going to set this over here. All right, I'm going to bring my 9 by 11. I did not spray. Next thing I got is six russet potatoes. I'm going to drain the water off them because I've been sitting. I cut them a little earlier and I just had them sitting there. I didn't want them to turn black, so I put water on them. Now, I cut them probably in slices about like that, okay? Oh, I want to put a layer of my mixture. Now, I've got shredded cheese over here that we're going to top it with, but I want to put a layer of my mixture in my pan. doesn't have to be a lot. You just want a, a little bit to keep those potatoes from burning. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees, and this will bake uncovered. For um, I would say for an hour to the potatoes are tender, but I would check it because all ovens vary. So, and I say that all the time, and and all ovens vary. I've cooked at other people's house and actually messed up stuff because I was so used to my oven. Okay, and then you just and they don't have to be perfect. Just get you a thick layer of potatoes. Okay. Uh, let's do a few more potatoes because I kind of want them. I'm doing two layers, so I kind of want them even, but try to scatter them back and forth a little bit so that mixture will get down in it. Okay. It smells really good. Get some down in that little corner. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of my shredded cheese to this layer. And I would probably set this on a cookie sheet as well. And I'm just using shredded um, cheddar because we've it's usually the only one I buy, and it doesn't need to be a lot. I just want to give it a little, little more cheese in the middle of it when he cuts in it. Because he'll be the one to eat it. I usually will eat stuff like this, but it's very, very rare. He'll eat off of it for several days. Now, let's do these potatoes and spread them out. Uh-oh, front one. As I said, these are just russet potatoes that I've cut up, and I've done my best to cut them real thin so they'll cook evenly. And we'll do another layer of our sauce. And the recipe that is below should yield you exactly what I'm doing here. And if you have any questions or anything, just ask. If I can answer it, I will. I can't always answer stuff people ask me. But 
but I'll do my very best. Don't mind. Okay. Now let's try to smooth the top out a little bit. Push that down in there. Let's see if we can get the rest of that out. It's a good bit down in there. Okay. Cover that potato up. Push you down in there. As I said, everything you saw me use here will be below. Cover those potatoes up. Okay. All right, sit that to the side. And we're going to do some cheese. Not a lot. Just a little bit. To give it a little bubble on top. And a little flavor. And I think I got down, this is a, a, in, a cup of um, shredded cheese to use in between layers and the topping. So I just didn't measure it because I didn't want to have to put it back in the container. I didn't use it. Okay. Now I'm going to get... My little trusty cookie sheet, and I'm going to sit this on top of my cookie sheet and put it in the oven, and I'll see y'all in an hour, and I will let you know exactly how long it cooked. All right, see you then. Okay, I am back. It took it an hour and 12 minutes, I think it was, to get it to where it's at, and I've let it sit a few minutes. It did bubble over a little bit around the edge and I'm glad I put it on a cookie sheet. Um, I've let it sit a few minutes and I'm just going to get a little corner out so I can taste it. Let's see. That's how it looks. The potatoes are just as tender. Look at that. Okay. Get a little of that brown cheese. I want to get some hamburger meat if I can. It's got to let it cool a little bit because I don't want to burn my lips off. Let's see. Very good. Very, very, very good. Potatoes. The russet potatoes has an excellent flavor. Absolutely. Very, very good. And that cheese crunch, crunch on the top is really good. Mm. But I'm going to upload this and edit it, and I'll have all the um, ingredients and stuff below to make this absolute delicious casserole. Now, if you're not a big salt fan, I think I would maybe cut the salt even out if you want. It's not overly salty. It's just you can taste the salt. Very good. Thank you for joining me. I hope you give it a try and let me know if you do. And remember, like, share, and subscribe. Love y'all. Thank you. Bye.